Hello fellows, welcome to my channel. This channel is created for educational purposes only, dedicated to people who want to learn how to trade. Either you want to trade stocks, crypto, commodities or forex. You will find high quality educational material, either you are a beginner, advanced or an intermediate trader. For viewers that want to see more action and how we apply the theory in real trades, you can visit our live channel. Here we are trading our live account and applying the theory, proving that it can be done while all trading profits go to our subs. However, as a beginner, I do not recommend starting with any real money. Trading is very risky and challenging. However, risk comes always with a reward. You will find 50 videos to understand the theory, 12 sections. Each section is a playlist consisting of several videos. I do not recommend skipping chapters and trying to take classes from the beginning. We are using verified sources to provide the most accurate information. Remember, this is an educational channel and you will always trade with demos to avoid the risk. Make profits in the market is not the easy passive income you have in mind. The entire material is the same as you will find in most trading courses. The material is totally free and you don't have to pay any guru to learn generic information or waste thousands of dollars. So if you want to support us, subscribe like and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm and you can post your progress in our Facebook page. Thank you very much and uh, trade safe. Many new traders are not familiar with Heike Nashi. The creator is the same person, Muni Hisahoma, the father of price action. We have mentioned him in several episodes. Heike Nashi, also spelled Heike Nashi, means average bar in Japanese. The Heike Nashi can be used in combination with traditional candlestick charts. Remember that we are dealing with the same person here. However, the calculations are different. Heike Nashi can help you identify the trend easier and create it a smoother chart when the prices are choppy. In the episode with the type of charts, we have mentioned all type of charts. Heike Nashi is a more advanced type of chart. The difference is on how candlesticks are calculated and plotted on the chart. The traditional candlestick pattern can help you identify potential market moves. The Heiken Ashi candles will help you decide whether you can stay more in a trend by following the trend. Staying in a strong trend is what you need. Leaving your profits running is a headache as most new traders will cut them early. Heiken Ashi is a modified candlestick charting technique. In theory gives more solid readings than traditional candlesticks and you will see why. Literally in Japanese Heiken means average and Ashi means pace. These types of candlesticks are filtering also the market noise. Heiken Ashi reduce some of the market noise creating a chart that highlights trend direction better than typical candlestick charts. Each Heiken Ashi candlestick doesn't just include price movement within the current time period. It also includes price information from the past. But let's go a bit deeper. But how different are traditional candlesticks from Heiken Ashi? Let's put them side by side and see their details in this chapter. Some of you might already notice that every new candlestick starts from the middle of the previous one. You will see why. They look the same, but they are not. Let's apply the Heiken Ash in this real market chart. In some platforms, it will be in the indicator section. The Heiken Ash has been shown as a layer inside traditional candlesticks. Now let's remove the traditional candlesticks to get the idea and how they look. The chart on the top is the traditional Japanese candlestick chart and the chart on the bottom is the Heiken Ashi chart. As you can see from the chart, candles on traditional Japanese candlestick charts frequently change from green to red, up or down, black or white, which can make them difficult to interpret. On the other hand, candles on the Heiken Ashi chart displays more consecutive color candles, helping traders to identify past price movements easily. Heiken Ashi charts tend to stay green during an uptrend and red during a downtrend. This is one of the major differences with traditional candlesticks. The traditional candlesticks will keep changing colors really fast. However, the Heiken Ashi will provide more solid reading. The Heiken Ashi chart is much smoother looking in terms of price action. This is why some forex traders prefer to use Heiken Ashi candles since it reduces the noise on the chart and allows them to analyze trends more clearly. As we said, every new Heiken Ashi candle starts from the middle of the previous one. The reason is because the Heiken Ashi uses also previous candlesticks prices in the calculations. 
not visible with the first sight, but the moving average demon is here again. As we said, even though the traditional candlesticks and Heike and Ashi looks the same, they are not. But let's see the formula and how they are calculated. With traditional Japanese candlestick charts, each candlestick represents the open, high, low and close price that the price makes within the current time period. We have done several episodes on this one. With Heike and Ashi candlestick chart, each candlestick doesn't just include price movement within the current period, it also includes price information from the past. Like the traditional candlesticks, Heike and Ashi also uses open, high, low and close prices. However, they are calculated differently. The open price is the open price of previous candle plus close price of previous candle divided by two. That's why they start from the middle of the previous one. The close price makes them more smooth. Why? Because the close price is open, high, low, close, divided by four. The high price is the maximum price reached. The high of the Heike Nashi candlestick takes the actual high of the period. This could be the highest shadow, the open or the close, whichever is the highest. The low of the Heike Nashi candlesticks takes the actual low of the period, exactly as the high is the minimum price reached. This could be the lowest shadow of the open or the close, whichever is the lowest. This is how you can use the Heike Nashi, by filtering the market noise and take into consideration prices that are really important, such as the highest for the period and the lowest for the period. Just like the traditional candlesticks, we have also patterns in Heike Nashi. By filtering the noise, you can see more clearly the trend. Heike Nashi here also has shadows like the traditional candlesticks and the interpretation is similar to traditional candlesticks. Long shadows indicate strong rejections and so on. The candlesticks will have smaller shadows than a regular candlestick chart. Just like with the regular Japanese candlesticks, with the Heike Nashi candlestick, the smaller the shadow, the stronger the trend. Green candles with no lower shadow signal a strong uptrend. Red candles with no upper shadow signal a strong downtrend. There are two basic functions. You can identify trend direction and trend strength. Since your goal is to catch trends and ride them as long as possible, the Heike Nashi is what you need to apply. This is another tool that we have discussed that can help you maximize your profits. Heike Nashi can help you to leave your profits running and follow the trend the longer you can. These simple signals, a green candle trend is up, a red candle trend is down. Now the second function is to identify the strength of a trend. So the lower the shadow, the stronger is the trend. People that are more into math already understood why. When there is no shadow, this means you are in a strong trend. The main thing you want to look for on a Heike Nassi chart to determine trend strength is shadowless or weakless candlesticks opposite the trend. Candlesticks that have no shadows or weak on one end are also called shaved candles. Depending on which end lacks a shadow, there is a name for each type of shaved candle. If there is no lower shadow, weak is called shaved bottom. If there is no upper shadow, weak is called a shaved head. Technically, for the purposes of Heike Nashi, we want to see shaved bottoms that are green and shaved heads that are red, since we are looking for a trend strength. Simple basic rules that you need to know in order to trade the Heike Nashi candlesticks. Again, I do not recommend to use Heike Nashi to trade. We will explain later in this episode how to use them with the most suitable way. So when candlesticks are green, we buy, and when candlesticks are red, we sell. When the Heike Nashi candlesticks change color, it's a sign that the price might be about to reverse. Candlesticks with no lower shadow or weak indicates a strong trend. If you see a lot of green shaved bottoms, you will see a strong uptrend. Stay long until the Heike Nashi candlesticks changes color from green to red. This is your signal to exit. Again, since you will not use them directly, but in combination with what you have learned so far, a change in the color might be a signal that the market might reverse. Ride the uptrend as long as no lower shadows appear and let your profits running. Candlesticks with small bodies showing upper and lower shadows indicate a possible trend reversal because the trend is paused. Remember exactly the same with the traditional candlesticks. A spinning top. The idea here is the same. Neither the sellers nor the buyers can prevail. In the opposite side, red candlesticks signals a downtrend. When the Heike Nashi candlestick changes from green 
to red, it's a sign that the prices might reverse to the downside. If you are currently in a long position, you may want to exit. If you are in a short position, you want to keep your profits running again. Red candlesticks with no upper shadow or weak indicate a strong downtrend, exactly like the uptrend. Stay short until the Heike Nashi candlesticks change color from red to green. Stay short and ride the downtrend as long as no upper shadows appear and let your profits running. In conclusion, stay in the market as long as you have full bodies Heike Nashi candlesticks. When the color change is a signal that the market might reverse. Let's see some pros and cons while using the Heike Nashi. As we said, eliminates noise. Heike Nashi uses moving averages. This eliminates most of the noise in comparison with traditional candlesticks. You can have a more clear image of the market. Heike Nashi clearly shows the strength of a trend and the area that is in a state of trend consolidation helps with entries. We can read the graph more easily and predict a good entry point just by using the color. It helps you also keep your trades longer. As Heike Nasi shows a trend strength, it also helps us decide when to hold onto a trade. When candle bodies are bigger, it shows that the trend is strengthening, so we can hold our position longer. When candle bodies shrink, it signals that the trend is starting to weaken, giving us a signal to exit the market. Heike Nasi has also some disadvantages. Delays. The Heike Nash indicator provides a delayed signal. This delay is not always bad as it filters most of the noise in the market. Remember the moving average that we have analyzed in previous episodes. The Heike Nash follows the same principles. It's a lagging indicator that follows the price. The same limitation applies with the moving average, it's good to be used in longer terms as it provides smoother prices as part of the best practices. We need to use them for the longer term. If you use a time frame that it is too small, detecting momentum in the market will be much more difficult. Therefore, this chart is not suitable for traders using scalping techniques. We will do a separate episode that will help you determine what type of trader you are. So stay tight. Thank you for watching. Go back. Repeat the chapters you are not sure and uh, trade safe so that's it for now thank you for watching our videos i hope you enjoy you know that we need your subscriptions likes and comments for the youtube algorithm help us to make more content and uh, trade safe